Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. You know, a lot of people have asked me how to make Teddy's woven blanket. So without waking up Teddy, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Shh. Come on, Teddy. So to make Teddy's blanket, what we're going to need is duct tape. Now, in my case, I did a weave that had two different colors. So I'm going to use two different colors here. And then I used a third color for the outer edge. So in this case, I've got three different colors of duct tape. You're going to need a ruler. You're going to need a pair of scissors and a work surface. And that's really all you need to make a woven blanket. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you need to figure out how big you want to make your blanket. Now in this case, I'm going to make my blanket 10 by 10 inches. So each strip is going to need to be 10 inches long. The thing about it is figuring out how many of the woven strips you're going to need. And basically, because the border is going to be an inch around, you just basically take two inches off of your length. So if I'm going to have a 10 inch one, I take two inches away. That's eight, which means I'm going to need eight strips to make a 10 by 10 square. Okay, so I'm going to need eight of this color and eight of this color. I'm going to show you how to make the strip right now. So first thing I'm going to do is measure where my 10 inches is. I'm going to make basically what I call a template because I don't have to measure each time. So what I'm going to do is take my tape, put a little edge down here put my ruler right up against it and measure out to 10. There we go. And I'm just going to mark that. Now I know when I want to make my strips, I just measure out from one end to the next. And that's where I rip. Now if you are using one of those self-healing boards instead of one of these kind of boards. This is my own board that has a fabric on it so that it lifts off really easily because I like to rip my tape. I don't necessarily like to cut my tape. But if you like to cut tape, you might want to use a self-healing board and an X-Acto knife. And in those cases, sometimes those come in measurements. So then you can just measure right away. Okay, I am going to take my strip of tape turn it over and now I am going to fold one end up and over. I call this a fold over strip. Now what I want to do is try to fold this onto itself edge to edge as nice and neat as possible and then I'm going to smooth it out. Now if I've done it well I shouldn't have too much white showing. Now here I've missed a teeny tiny little bit but that's not too much. Anyway, it doesn't really matter because I can always come back and trim just right inside where it's tape to tape so that I protect my scissors. So I've cut right along down there, tape to tape. You can see I've just got this little strip and I take that off to the side. Now, because I wanted to make my blanket 10 by 10, I take that number 10 and I subtract 2 and that gives me 8. I'm going to need 8 10 inch strips of purple and eight 10 inch strips of orange. Now I've saved myself a little time and already made these ahead of time. This is, this is the time consuming part of this. All right, now to make my weaving, what I'm gonna do is take one of the strips, and this is just the way that I like to do this. Take one of the strips and tape it into place. I'm going to use this just to make sure that my edge is nice and lined up. Use the other color, the opposite color to the, to the one that you're using up here as your, as your measure and just lay them down one by one with the opposite color. So I've got one, two, and see I put that edge right there, edge to edge, right up to that purple edge. So I've got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and one more, eight. Okay, now what I want to do is remove this 
and not move my strips as much as I can. And what I want to do is now seal this. Again, I want to try to make sure that I'm, I'm keeping everything even. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, line it up on the top there. So I've lined it up on the top and then I'm going to flip it over once so that I've now got an inch of all of these little edges all lined up. Because now what I'm going to do is take my duct tape, that's going to be my border. Take my duct tape and that's going to be my border. And I want to make sure that I leave a little bit extra on each side. Because remember, I'm going to make this 10 by 10. And lay it straight down right along that edge, but not taping the purple edge, but right along the edge there. There. Now the reason I'm doing this is I'm securing this so that I can weave. Now I'm taking my purple strips and I'm going to weave. Now, I don't know if you've ever woven before, but basically a weaving pattern is under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over until you get to the end. And then you start over again with another strip, but you do the opposite. So if you started under, then you're going to go over, under, over, under. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to start under. What's nice here is I can just pick these pieces up. And see, they're secure, so they're not going anywhere. Under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. And scooch that up. That's the beginning of my weaving. Now, this one was under, so the next one's going to be over. So I go over, under, and scooch it up, over, under. And you know you're doing it correctly because you're always going to get these little squares. If you do it incorrectly, here's what's going to happen. You're going to get like a rectangle. You'll be like, oh wait, that's not right. So you just fix it. So now I'm over, under, over, under. And I'm going to do this with the remaining eight strips. This is going to be the last one, Eli, coming up. All right. Now, there I've got all of my strips lined up. And now I can give them a little squidgy so that they are nice and tight. Now one thing about duct tape that I should tell you is for the most part it's two inches wide but it's slightly less than two inches wide. So if you've ended up trimming your fold over strips they might be slightly less than two inches and if that's the case you might end up with a little bit extra down here and if that's the case what you want to do is lay an extra piece down and using your dry erase marker, where my dry erase marker go? Uh-oh, disappeared. You can just mark these and then cut. I'm just going to snip it right now. Okay, 
Now we're going to get to the ceiling part. So once again, what I'm going to do is take a piece of tape, make sure that all of these guys are nice and lined up and happy. Take my tape, make sure I've got a little extra and lay it straight down right at that edge. See that? Like you can almost see the blanket. See the blanket? It's already forming. Okay, now I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to fold over these edges. Now that was a little teeny bit off, but that's okay. Don't get too concerned about that because we'll come back. We'll make that work. I'll get a little teeny bit more tape and just come back from this direction like that. And that's not a problem. Easily fixed. Okay, now what I do want to do is I want to trim these excess pieces right to the side here, right to the side so they're lined up and lined up. Okay, now I'm going to come back with my tape and do the outsides. Now here I can really make it much more form-fitted so I don't end up having to cut an extra lot of tape there. Now see that edge, that orange edge? That's where I'm lining this up. Line it up and fold it over. Again, see, we were a little bit, tiny bit off and that, you know, basically that's because duct tape is not exactly two inches by two inches. So what I'm going to do here is just lay that over, but you can fix everything. Remember that. That's one of the nice things about duct tape is it's very, very fixable. Okay. Just trim this little extra off the end. I trim this a little bit of extra off the end. And then I'm going to do the last side here. And Teddy must be getting very excited because he knows it's bedtime with a brand new blankie. Now the one thing you can do is you can also make this, if you wanted to, you can make a checkerboard out of this. Kind of fun. You could use dimes as your checker pieces. Okay, I'm going to fold it over. go. Once again, a little teeny bit off. So I'm just going to use another little piece of tape. Seal it off. Now the more you practice with this, the better you'll get at those measurements and then you might not end up having to do these double strips. There we go. I'm just trimming that corner and trimming this corner. And there you have it. A nice woven blanket for Teddy. Come on, Teddy. Oh, very nice. Oh. For more bedtime ideas, come and check us out at Sophie Dash World. <laughs>